and Beth, Bethany yes. Bowden. Let's talk about you for a minute, shall we? Oh, shit. Okay. I know. Darn it. So you are an actress in Los Angeles, California. I and am. Uh, we met many moons ago in a acting class. Was it theater acting? I feel like it was theater acting. It was right? theater, yeah. Doesn't, doesn't that kind of feel like the good old days? It kind of does, I mean, right? It was totally the good old days. You know what? It was so, it was so cute. So like I did this whole entire scene and then I walked outside and Ryan, this sexy man right here was like, I've never heard a better Southern accent than what you did. Cause you remember what I did? I like did the whole like Southern accent and you were just like, you were awesome. Yeah, but then now you just told us that you're actually from the South. And that's, that's kind of cheating. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's so count. good. <laughs> that's so perfect. <laughs> Why does it count because I am actually from the South, so I mean, I'm not just I actually do like, no. really love a Southern accent for like monologues and scenes because, and this is going on a, on a very quick tangent, but I've always found it to be more interesting and believable when somebody does or says something with a Southern accent for some reason. Because like if some, if I said to, for example, hey, I have a body in the back seat of my car, like, oh, okay, but if I go, you know, I've got a body in the back seat of my car. Suddenly you're like, I believe that guy. He totally, yeah, totally. does. You're like, well, Ryan, I body. declare. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yes, so we met in theater class and mm -hmm. it was such a fun time working, you know, with everybody there. It was a great time. And since then, we've gone on to do various acting things. Do you feel like you are cast more often for like comedies or serious roles or what what do you usually work on what do you think is your, um, your style so I, I i recently just filmed a monologue um when i was i i, I played a serial killer mm. and it was an actual it was it was a male monologue so it was something that i did written for a male <laughs> um as a murderer so that was that was a lot of that was a lot of fun to um film i haven't done anything i actually have something like in the works but i can't really talk about it that's okay what kind of genre is it is it comedy um, is it horror is it thriller and then specifically what is it also <laughs> no, Wait, listen to him what? <laughs> um um well it's 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 hosting Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah, so it's 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 something that um, within the next thirty days, I hope to come back on and just like promote the shit out of it. But um, it's 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 happening within the next thirty days. It's um, it's something I I can't. That's okay. You don't have to tell us. That's awesome. Stay yeah. tuned for that, and we'll also include it in the description box below. Once you do have something to tell us or a website for people to look at, mm -hmm. we'll add it into the description. Just, box just below. whisper it to me. <laughs> no, don't don't do it because we'll catch it shh, shh, i'm gonna mute her michael don't get her in trouble <laughs> uh so beth what kind of role do you think you are best suited for as an actress do you feel like you play the wacky neighbor or the love interest or the lead actress in a comedy or what what do you think is game show host uh podcast Wait. host uh I mean, it, it's it's very interesting because I feel like I could do comedy, but I do a lot of I do a lot of drama. So I don't like I did a Fringe Festival play last year, and I wish that I could have done Fringe this year, but it just you know what I mean the the theaters aren't open. But I did comedy last year, um, as in theatrical. Yeah, I don't know that. You know what the thing is, is like, that's a very interesting question, Ryan, because I think that I could do comedy, but for some reason I'm always drawn to, to drama. Mm. So I guess I can ask you the same question, like, what do you think that you're more drawn to? Because everybody, everybody thinks that, you know, you, you, you're, you're stereotyped into one specific sort of thing that you can do like you can either just you're just 
awesome and you can do improv and your comedy or you can just like cry on cue and you can just do drama but it's 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 something that it's I don't know I mean what do you think that you could do most well it's tough uh the most fun I've had has been um you know being say like an alien in a sci-fi thing because then you can really go as extreme as you want and create characters and go nuts uh, I've also really enjoyed playing like you know bad you know killers or somebody in prison you know things like that playing really dark characters but comedy is always tons of fun because comedy usually is the most freeing in that more often than not a director is rarely going to say no 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 don't do that funny thing that you just did take do another take. you know what i mean like whereas yeah. in other in other situations you're very restricted as to how you can deliver things. But in comedy, oftentimes, oftentimes, it really depends on what the comedy is, oftentimes, you can have fun, you can go nuts, you can be wacky, you can be zany, or you can be sarcastic, and you can just try a bunch of different things, and whatever works best is fine. You know, they just, whatever's funniest. So I guess the answer is sci-fi, or comedy, or killer, or alien. But the boring stuff, it's boring. I'm a comedy There's, guy. End of story. Okay. No, you Michael's can, a comedy you can play guy. Serious. Nope. <laughs> no serious for you. Come on, I'm no, Michael. I'm never serious. Come on. Okay. Oh man. That's probably true. But Bethany, now the final question to you is this: What's a dream role of yours that you've never been able to play? Have you always wanted to be like an action hero? or uh, a love interest in a pirate movie, or maybe a, an elven queen on Lord of the Rings, or a, what's your dream role? Oh man. Um, I think that I'm like very much a romantic at heart. So I think that one of my dream roles is something like, like 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 the notebook like i think that i want to play like a rom-com like i i feel like that my my i love rachel mcadams and i feel like that i would love 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 to play a, a role like that because it's so and people look at it as like oh it's just a rom-com and it's just like a female but there's so many aspects to like being that character like I'm, you know what i mean there's just so much to it and i just definitely i i would love to break down a character yeah that's in love with somebody but you know what i mean but like somebody that's in love but they don't know that they love themselves and then just just to freak it down and to do it so i think maybe rom-com by the way weird. something i keep forgetting to mention so i want to make sure to mention it before the end of this thing is you have the coolest background of any person we've ever had on the show. Yeah. That's so cool uh, because you drew Falling Tower, the boys, and our logo. You logo. actually drew our logo and our name. That's very yeah, cool. Yeah, I did. A plus. Right, Michael? I mean, that's the best background we've yes. ever had. Yes, yep. So well, thanks, thank guys. you for that. By thank far. You. Oh, for sure, yeah. Well, what about you, Ryan? What's your favorite? Like, I mean, what do you, I mean, aside from sci-fi because obviously you have leading man looks so what is it as far as you as an actor what's your dream role maybe it'd be fun to be in a sitcom it would be fun to because that's something i've never really done with any kind of consistency maybe it'd be it'd be fun to be like the next kramer you know what i mean wtf seinfeld yeah i mean like it might be fun to just have like a, a steady gig where you're working every week and you're being funny and you're telling jokes and people are laughing or not. It could be single camera, but maybe that, that might be fun. Now, I guess above that, if you're really asking for real, it would be like actually having a role in Star Trek because that's the dream role of dream roles. Because once you have that, then you're pretty much set for life. You go to conventions the rest of your life, you sign autographs, you get grumpy, you're like seven, you're like, meh, 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 whatever, you know, you know, $35. <laughs> but, I totally, but I totally agree with the whole sitcom yeah. thing. Like, I would love to be in a sitcom. I just don't know what 
kind of sitcom, but like, yeah, I could totally see you in a sitcom. That would be fantastic. And I could totally see you in, in, in Star Trek. And even though I've never seen it, I <laughs> like, I could see you on like, a, thank a, you. What do they do? They, they're like on ships and shit. Like they yeah. just go around like yeah. the universe. And they, blow, and they blow stuff up. Yeah, they just, oh, they, and they see yeah, aliens. Oh, totally blow shit up, Brian. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you.